Hey, what's up guys? In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to implement code push for your app so that you can instantly push updates through the air without going through the app store every time. So just to visually show you, let's say we built an app. The usual process would be to submit it to the app store where they'll review the app and hopefully it gets approved. And from there, the user can download the app to their device. So I just covered this entire app store submission process in my latest tutorial, so check it out. Then after release, you will probably make an update to the app, right? Now there's a couple problems, pain points with this, which is every time you want to update your app, you're going to have to go through this entire process, even if it's just a small change. And even if it gets approved, one, it takes a bit of time, and two, not all your users will religiously update the apps. So sometimes they might be on older versions of your app. Now with code push, you can deliver updates instantly through the air straight to the device. If you didn't know, code push is already a big thing when it comes to websites and apps. But what's really cool is we can now do code push with Flutter apps using Shorebird. Now before we begin, we need to install Shorebird. So I'm always going to refer you to the official documentation because this is what I'm following. So firstly, just the install. I'm on Mac, so I'm gonna grab this one. If you're on Windows, then you can grab that. And I've opened up a brand new Flutter project. And in the terminal, just paste that in and this will install the Shorebird CLI. So what that's gonna allow is for us to now type in our command line, Shorebird login. So I'm just gonna go to the Google, let's click this link to login. And then it says, welcome to Shorebird, you are now logged in, sweet. Then our first thing to do is to initialize it. So just before we do that, if you open up your iOS app in Xcode, you know this bundle identifier, just make sure to give it a unique ID. So for example, for me, it would be app.mitchcoco and rituals. Uh, for this one, I'm just gonna say my test app. So just make sure to give it a bundle ID and then let's come to the command line and say Shorebird init. How should we refer to this app? You can give it a name. I'm just gonna press enter to call it my test app and sweet, Shorebird initialized successfully. The next step is to create a new release. So you can actually see they've got some good notes here and we have Shorebird release for iOS and Android. And I kinda right here the equivalent Flutter commands. So it's basically just doing the Flutter build iOS or Flutter build app bundle. Right, so I'm gonna type Shorebird release. You can do Android. For this tutorial, I'm just gonna do iOS. And sweet, ready to create a new release. Let's say yes. And it's published the release. Your next step is to upload your app to the App Store Connect. So this is when you can just publish this app and it will have Shorebird included. But just to test it out, we can do a preview. So kind of similar to Flutter Run, we can do Shorebird preview. Again, you can do Android. I'm just gonna do iOS for this one. And then I'm gonna run it on my actual device. So it's just the default counter app for Flutter. And then finally, we can patch it. So we can make a Dart change and then say Shorebird patch. So in my code, let's just change the color from deep purple to green. And then I'm gonna say Shorebird patch, do Android if you wanna do Android, I'm gonna do iOS. And then let it do its thing. Ready to publish a new patch, nice. Would you like to continue? Let's say yes. And it's published the patch one. So if I come back to my device, I'm gonna kill the app. And when I reopen it again, at this point, it's gonna check for if there's any updates available. And if there are, it will download the patch. And so the next time that the user opens the app, then the changes are applied, sweet, and now it's green. And this is just crazy.